Hello, teachers. My name is Lance Burbank with EverFi. I provide teacher support for local districts Central, West, Northwest, and Northeast. And I'm here with my friend and colleague, Jamil Bryant. Hey there, I'm Jamil, and I'm proud to support teachers in local districts South and East. So over the past few years, teachers, EverFi has partnered with LAUSD to bring critical life skills related to financial literacy, social emotional learning, college and career readiness, and health and wellness to every student in LAUSD. That's right, Lance. Last year, over 150 of the 200 high schools in LAUSD used our financial literacy resources with their students. And part of what has made this exponential growth possible is that teachers and students can access EverFi on Schoology at the click of a button. All right, now that you are on Schoology, the first step that you are going to take to add EverFi is to go up to your LMS App Center that's at the top. So you can see those four squares, some teachers call it the waffle, and when you click on it, it'll bring up LMS App Center, the first one. When you click that, it will bring up the LMS App Center in a new window. You'll scroll down and you'll type in EverFi, where it says publish your name, and click Submit. Click on EverFi once it comes up. You're in the right spot. And that will then ask you to install the LTI app. When you click that, it will open up an agreement. Click I agree. And then it will show all of your different courses that are attached to you in Schoology. You want to choose every single course in which you plan to use EverFi so that your students will be able to see the EverFi app on the left hand side. Once you've clicked each of those, being careful not to click course admins only because then it would only show up for you. Then you can click install and the, and the EverFi app will now live in your different courses. So you can now go over and click on courses, click one of the courses that you added EverFi to. And when you open it up, you will now see it living on the left-hand side at the bottom under the other apps that you've added. Once you click there, this will open up the EverFi app that's the teacher dashboard for you. This is where you will be able to add courses. If you get a message like this one, you can just close out of those. It's just telling you that you can explore the catalog. Exploring the catalog allows you to add explore catalog. You will also see that that's where you can add other courses. And you can even explore the resources from there. So once you click on Explore Catalog, then you will see the different courses. You'll notice that there's a demo button for each one where you can see the course just like the students will see. There's also, all right, once you've explored the resources, then you can click Create a Class on a different resource. And then you will get to this page, which is where you will create your classes. Once you are over into the Create Class section, you will notice that your Clever sections are will pull in automatically. So you can find whichever class periods, whichever sections have the students that you want to have the courses, and you'll, you'll choose those. Then you'll answer a few other questions. The start date, the class size, and then the grade level. Those are just informational and won't affect access, so don't worry about that. But here's the most important part, where you add your different courses. EverFi Financial Literacy is called EverFi, right? And then, but you'll notice we have lots of other resources for high school. You can add one at a time, or you could go ahead and add multiple now, and then those will show up. For instance, if I click EverFi and then Marketplaces, those are the two courses that are with the City National Bank sponsorship. So you, maybe you start there, but you can also add as many as you'd like. So once you've clicked those, then you will add them and then whatever courses that you've added will now show up under classes. So for instance, ha has all of those different resources available to, to their homeroom class so that those students can get started at any time. The other two things I wanted to show you on the teacher dashboard for now is the students tab where students' names will pop in once they enter the EverFi app. 
So don't, don't be nervous if you notice that there are no names there yet. That just means that students haven't entered the EverFi app. The last thing I wanted to show you today is the reports. So this is your grade book. So you can go to whichever course, you'll see students' names, and then you will see scores from zero to 100. All of our EverFi courses are always graded that way, and 70% or higher is considered mastery. The certification, it says no on the far right, when students complete all lessons with 70% or higher, will turn to yes, and that is a cue to you that they are certified. You'll have a certificate available under the Students tab, and they will also have a certificate on their student dashboard that they will be able to download as proof that they've been certified in the different EverFi courses, all right?